$1 billion fighter. An overkill machine. Becomes reality. U.S. sixth generation fighter jet taken to next level. The U.S. sixth generation fighter has just taken a leap into becoming a reality. The U.S. Air Force recently released a classified contract solicitation for the engineering and manufacturing phase of the fighter. This will see some of the largest defense contractors in the world competing to build it. And like the competition that birthed the fighter's predecessor, the F-22 Raptor, this competition promises to be one of the most heated in history. The NGAD fighter, which could be the first ever to cost $1 billion, is part of a broader air dominance initiative known as Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD for short. Along with the sixth generation fighter, NGAD would develop an army of other systems that will combine to ensure American dominance in the skies over the coming decades. Perhaps the most crucial of these supporting systems is a fleet of sixth generation loyal wingman drones packed with more capabilities than many fighters. As NGAD's second in command, these drones will accompany the manned sixth generation fighter into battle to perform supporting roles. Armed with an entire arsenal of new technologies, it appears the U.S. Air Force's response to future threats is an entire army of sixth generation manned and unmanned systems taking to the sky all at once to not only nip the threat in the bud, but to perform an overkill. However, the U.S. isn't alone in building a sixth generation fleet of aircraft. The usual competition is, as usual, being very competitive. Russia, China, and even a consortium of European countries are in the race for sixth generation dominance. And although the capabilities of these far away sixth generation technologies are something to fear, the American NGAD still has the lead thanks to some heavy investments in the program. $10 billion in the last 10 years and $2.4 billion budgeted for the fiscal year 2024 alone. The result of this is unrivaled lethality and the ability to survive, persist, interoperate and adapt even in the most contested environments. To truly understand these capabilities, it's important to take a closer look at NGAD. NGAD all technologies being developed under the NGAD program revolve around the manned sixth generation fighter. Therefore, to understand the capabilities of NGAD, we must take a look at the capabilities of this fighter. 4. Stealth Stealth is an advancement that has been here only one generation of fighters ago, but it's one that's here to stay. According to the Air Force's Biennial Acquisition Report, covering the fiscal years 2019 and 2020, the NGAD fighter maximizes its stealth features by taking an overall triangular shape, internally holding its payload, and having no distinct tail section, also known as vertical stabilizers. It is the first fighter in history to have such a design. 3. Open Architecture Despite an endless list of advancements for the NGAD fighter, a century of history has taught the U.S. that an aircraft will always have room to be better, no matter how advanced it is. As a result, the NGAD fighter will come with an open architecture that enables it to take on new upgrades easily and quickly. This way, the fighter will constantly adapt to new challenges of the battlefield introduced by the advancements of opposing militaries. Simply put, the 6th generation NGAD fighter can be upgraded to become the 7th generation NGAD fighter years after it's fielded. 2. Advanced Sensors the NGAD fighter would feature an electronically configured smart skin integrated into its fuselage for spotting targets. This would increase the fighter's sensor sensitivity significantly compared to if its sensors were otherwise housed in radars mounted on the aircraft, as has been the tradition for the last few decades. With this new level of sensitivity comes the ability to spot targets from tens of miles away. This enables the air superiority fighter to become a multi-role aircraft capable of executing surveillance, reconnaissance, and target acquisition missions. 
The fighter would also enjoy lightning quick communications with friendlies to keep them abreast of relevant information in real time. And with command to receive instructions instantly. The latter could include direct flight instructions, which enables the NGAD fighter be an optionally manned fighter piloted remotely. 1. Weapons The NGAD fighter is slated to be armed to the teeth with a wide array of guns, bombs, missiles, and laser-directed energy weapons. Of these, laser weapons are the most headlining, for understandable reasons. For one, they have unlimited magazines as they can continue to fire for as long as they're connected to power sources. Next, they strike targets at a speed of 180,000 miles per second, the speed of light the fastest thing in the universe. Then, they're also autonomous as they execute most of their work without human intervention. The Air Force has multiple laser weapons in the works, but the most promising of these remains the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, or SHIELD for short. SHIELD is being developed by a team of Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin, three of the most capable defense contractors in the world and the three most likely contenders to build the fleet of sixth-generation NGAD fighters. According to Secretary of the Air Force, Lieutenant Colonel Frank Kendall, at least 200 of these fighters will be built, with some entering service as soon as the end of this decade. Lieutenant Kendall also shared some information on the fighters second in command, the Loyal Wingmen, known as the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA for short. At least 1,000 CCAs are expected to be built, with at least two accompanying each NGAD fighter. And while it might be easy to see these loyal wingmen as expendable support drones, this couldn't be further from the truth. Here's why. CCA Drones CCAs are a crucial addition to the U.S. Air Force's capabilities, so much so that they'll not only escort the future NGAD fighter during missions, but also current fighters, such as the F-35 Lightning II. In these missions, they would operate as extensions of the sensor, electronic warfare systems, and weapons on manned fighters, saving the manned fighters from taking on the risk of going to the edge of battle until absolutely necessary. This results in significantly reduced casualty rates and increased dominance. These are benefits that the U.S. cannot afford not to have. In fact, for this capability, the Air Force is sparing no expense. The service plans to spend more than $6 billion on its CCA programs over the next five years, over $400 million of which would be in the 2024 fiscal year alone. Each CCA is expected to cost between $20 to $40 million. At roughly the same price as an F-16 Fighting Falcon, the CCAs are not expendable aircraft by any means. They'll be armed with sufficient intelligence and onboard defense systems to survive on the battlefield, even in a head-to-head -head against the most consequential, most advanced 6th generation NGAD competitors. NGAD Competitors Although they're all behind the U.S., Russia, China, and a consortium of European nations are all sprinters in the race for 6th generation dominance. They're all armed with their respective 6th generation programs as follows. Russia MiG-41 The MiG-41 is Russia's entry into the race for 6th generation air dominance. The fighter is reportedly designed for long-range interception to prevent the opposition from any form of superiority. And it turns out superiority is exactly what every NGAD fighter is designed for. To ensure the MiG-41 comes out on top in its own quest, the Director General of RSK MiG, Ilya Tarasenko, speculated that, powered by the ISDLI-30 engines currently under development, the aircraft would be capable of Mach 4.3 speeds, be equipped with an anti-missile laser, would be able to operate at altitudes that border on space, and could have an unmanned version, among other more generic 6th generation features. China, unspecified program name. Dr. Wang Haifeng, chief designer of the Chengdu Aerospace Corporation, announced that China has begun pre-research on sixth-generation aircraft in January 2019 and predicted that the program would come to fruition by 2035. Similar to other countries building sixth-generation aircraft, the next-generation fighter will build on fifth-generation technology that has been perfected over the years. For China, this fifth-generation testbed is the J-20. Packed with a world of capabilities, the J-20 is China's most capable fighter jet to date. The capabilities of the fighter will be upgraded multiple times over and then integrated into China's 6th generation fighter. European Consortium 
Tempest. Tempest is a sixth generation fighter under development by Team Tempest. Team Tempest consists of the UK Ministry of Defense, the governments of Britain, Italy, and Sweden, and then aerospace and weapon making companies such as BAE Systems, MBDA, Rolls Royce, and Leonardo SPA. The resulting fighter of the Tempest program is planned to enter service in the 2030s, when it'll replace the Eurofighter Typhoon in Britain and Italy and replace the JAS 39 Gripen in Sweden. The sixth generation NGAD fighter has just taken a huge leap into what it is expected to be, which is to be the most advanced fighter in not only the US, but in all of history. And according to experts, the fighter could get even more advanced if you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now for the NGAD fighter. Thanks for watching.